Hi, welcome back. It's Paul Tilly, and today I'd like to discuss Chapter 4, Ethics and Ethical Behavior. Never before has ethical behavior received so much attention in the media and in textbooks and courses such as this one. Doing things right and for the right reasons seems to be a, a theme in modern management. In this chapter, we're looking at ethics from the point of view of ethics versus the law and how ethics is applied in business. In the first instance, we look at ethics relative to the law. Just because something is ethical does not mean it is legal, nor does it mean if something is unethical is it necessarily legal. The law and ethical behavior are not necessarily in coherence. Take for example an ethical behavior where we rescue children out of uh, earthquake laden Haiti. Now that would be a very ethical thing to do on the surface. However, if those children have parents in Haiti who haven't been found, then we would suggest that that may be very illegal. So we have an ethical situation, but an illegal activity. More specifically in marketing, many events are considered as legal, but many people would consider them unethical. For example, certain forms of advertising. Uh, they would be legal ads, nothing wrong with them according to the legislation. However, a lot of viewers will look at the ads and say, that's not what I want to see on television. For example, TV commercials exposed uh, to children. Or that's not what I want to see on signs. You know, pictures that may, some may offend some people may be perfectly legal, but again, create an ethical dilemma. So one of the things you have to be careful of, and one of the issues raised in this chapter is, there is a difference between legality and ethics. For many people, there there is some sort of a, um, a conflict between the two, but in reality, that is a situation that we do face in our society. Ethical behavior may not be legal, and legal behavior may not necessarily be ethical. So, what is ethics anyway? What exactly would ethical behavior be? Well, ethics is largely defined by our society, and it, it draws in our societal norms, and they change over time. It also draws in people's norms. What is it that people are willing to accept? If you look on, for example, on page uh, 97, you will see societal and cultural norms play in with business and cultural norms, play in with corporate culture. Now, corporate culture reflects, reflects what the business's thoughts are on how it should operate. And certain companies would have higher ethical standards than others. And again, all of those things play into a perception of what exactly is ethical. As we move further along, we, we even muddy the waters more by suggesting, okay, well, ethical behavior, what do we mean by that in terms of business? Well, first of all, we say, you know, is, is it fair to assess things as we should only be absolutely ethical? For example, is it ethical to drive your car to work? If you're a pure, 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 very concerned about ethics person, you're polluting the environment. And is that right? Now, more utilitarian people would say, well, yes, I have to pollute the environment a certain degree, but I also have to get to work. i got to think about the practical side. So when we look at ethics, there's a utilitarian view of ethics which says, let's get the greatest good for the greatest people. Well, mind what's ethical, but greatest good for the greatest people. On the other hand, a very pure ethical perspective would say, we only do what's right. And in business, that's sometimes challenging to do because doing what's right could mean shutting down industries. And a lot of people in our economy won't tolerate that. So we have to find this magic balance between ethical behavior and doing the greatest good for the greatest people. So those tend to be the major things that we should look at in this chapter. I want you to ensure that you have an understanding of ethics, and I want you to apply it 
throughout the course as opposed just to this chapter. This, even though it's, it's highlighted here, that's exactly all it is. Highlight it. It needs to be brought through all of your studies and always judge things along what are the ethical implications of a decision or a particular practice. Good. Well, uh, again, if you have any questions, I invite you to call me or email me. Thanks.